What's up guys, it's Gutex. We're still here at E3 and I thought we would go through some of the demonstrations and the trials for Ibuki because to me, one of the first steps that I take when I'm learning a new character is I try to just go through all the stuff that Capcom has put in the game to, ex to explain what you're supposed to do with the character. So let's first go through the, uh, the demonstrations. So we're gonna go over to character guides and then go to the bottom and then uh, we'll see what it says. I mean, obviously this is like really basic information, but we don't know when Ibuki is actually gonna be out. So like if you follow along with this and then think about it in your, follow along, you know, in your mind and on your stick and then, you know, uh, when the game, when she's actually available, you know, have a head start. Okay, so Kunai is a special move that fires a projectile in front of you. It leaves a few openings, but has a limited number of uses. If you run out, which is new in five, Ibuki will perform the move, but won't fire anything. So you start with six, but they can recharge. They can be recharged with another move. Uh, oh, Kunai will be knocked down when hit by the opponent's attack. So that means that you can hit the opponent. Let's like right there with uh, with Ryu standing light kick. He was able to uh, to hit. So the EX Kunai explode cannot be knocked down. Allow follow up attacks on hit and grant advantage even when guarded. And also depending on the combination of buttons pressed when performed, the position of where EX Kunai land changes. So see, that's light, medium, heavy, but heavy can be, I mean, they all can be hit. And then that's light EX and uh, me, uh, medium EX, and they each come with the bomb. All right. Uh, now this is, uh, Kazigiri is the, uh, the uppercut, so it has, uh, it doesn't have invincibility frames, but it's a good ender to combos. Uh, so Kazigiri attacks quickly after being triggered and is easily mixed into combos, but its lack of invincibility makes it a poor choice for a counter attack. Unless, of course, you use EX Kazigiri, which has total invincibility, making it useful in any situation, such as a get off me move, uh, like when you're under pressure or let's say on wake up and you can also cancel it into an airborne airborne kunai but only after it makes contact uh, okay so this is her V skill so basically it's actually kind of similar to the way that Karen's works so you can nullify projectiles by just tapping it or if you hold it then uh, It'll, it'll lean a little bit further. So it's kind of similar to Karen's uh, V skill. Uh, so, yes. Okay, this is her V trigger. So once she's in V trigger, then she has uh, access to two time bombs, uh, which only, Pearl's a time bomb which only hits the opponent. It can be deflected by Eater Fighter's attacks until it blows up. That means once the bomb is out, you can play a little game of of a uh, kickball, kickball, and uh, after, okay, so after it explodes and while the VKH timer is displayed, input another V trigger to sling a second bob into the fray. Wow, okay, so depending on which way you press will determine how long, whoa, will determine how, <laughs> oh my God. That is a special kind of, of volleyball or hacky sack, right? So um, you can also use the bomb or the kunai. And if you hit, if you hit the bomb with the kunai, then it'll explode. But of course the, yeah, see like right there. That's so sick. Um, Right, so see, even though even though Ibuki exploded in the bomb, she's impervious to getting hit by the bomb. Only the opponent can be hit. That is a sick sequence. Look how much damage that did. All right. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for the demonstration. Now uh, we can do some of her trials and see what we can learn from doing the trials. So thanks for watching. We'll see you later.